Skatosis episode number 157. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Skatosis. I'm Drew Domkus. I'm Aaron Monty. And Skatosis is the condition of being consumed and obsessed with all things skateboarding. The only known cure is more skateboarding, not social distancing. Not. Even in these times, it's more skateboarding. It's more skateboarding. As yep. much as you can on your own. But, uh, you know. You got to keep it going. You got to keep. Skating, skating in their house, skating in their bed frames. <laughs> Dude, I've seen some gnarly stuff with people in their house. That one you yeah, sent me today is pretty intense. But you've seen that that challenge is going up now. I feel like I crapped and I'm on the phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's so many. Challenge, there's so many challenges. Yeah, I, well, I've seen one. That it's like basically the skated home challenge thing. Uh-huh. I forgot what the. I think the tag is like skated home, but the winner gets five thousand dollars. Oh damn. Well, yeah, that dude a, that you sent that's a huge prize for like an Instagram contest. Yeah, I think the one you sent me today, he he probably won. He might win. I I think there's a lot of talk of the person winning might be, uh, you know, the guy who dropped off the roof. Oh, that's right, dude, into his front yard. Yeah, or into back, that, yeah, dude, like what half a foot kicker? Wait, wait, you're saying that my my kickflip wouldn't count? <laughs> oh, the kick. <laughs> the kickflip's in there for sure. That's a contender. Yeah. It's like honorable mention. <laughs> you got to do a kickflip in the house now. Uh, you know what? That's what I told Dawn, that my ultimate goal was to do one in the kitchen. Just one yeah. cl- one clean one. So, like, no struggle. Like, I got to be able to have them unlocked so much that I can just come in and, one, and do one. So, I'm not, did you see I'm not there skate- yet. Did you see Skateline? I think it was on Skateline. The, the guy... Popped it through his oven. Yeah, dude, that's gnarly. <laughs> yes. His girlfriend's like, did you just break the oven? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, man, that's a big mess. Uh, you know. Yeah, that's gnarly. Yeah. But, geez, man, so how you doing? Another week of us just being cooped up, huh? Yeah, another week. I'm good, dude. Still, well, still getting out there, still trying to, you know, social distance and, like, skate whatever i can yeah that's cool i still feel a little weird because it's like hard to relate because nothing really seems that different to me except that i can't really hang out with you (laughs) yeah that's that's like the biggest thing for i think the the biggest thing that changed that has changed for me is the park closing sure because otherwise like if that was open it would my mind wouldn't change either i'm still going to work yeah yeah Dude, I'm getting so, a lot of firsts during this time, though. Like, uh, not only the kickflip, but I'm now pretty, like, the other day you and I on Instagram Live again, which I think is a really great way to just hang out for us. But um, yeah. landing frontside bonelesses, like, I got three of them that day. Those are, those yeah. are, that's a, that's a new one because I normally don't go all the way in. I always, uh, yeah, hell yeah, dude. I, I mean, I like all the variations to tail, to trucks, to Smith, to whatever that I've done. I like all those, but they're always just cop outs to coming all the way in. Yeah. It's so funny showing Joe, uh-huh. someone who doesn't skate. Yeah. And, and I was explaining this to somebody at work the other day. Yeah. Cause he brought up, there's this guy that a new listener of ours, Nick, shout out Nick. Why hey, not? what up Nick? Uh, he's, was he's been asking me like skating questions and he saw that Tony Hawk break down his breakdown breaks down his movies. Okay. He saw that like was that GQ? Do you remember what that was? It might have been GQ or like men's health or one of those kind of things. Yeah. So he saw that so he was asking me questions about that stuff and he's like, "Oh, it's probably like skating's probably a lot of like nuances and like really subtle movements." So I showed Joe your boneless. Okay. And she's like, I don't get it. He always does that. Yeah. And I'm like, no, he goes to truck or he goes to tail. Right. That's what Dawn like, said. Dawn's like, like, it looks like, Dawn's like, it looks like, like all your other he tricks. Never, he doesn't usually go in. This is big. <laughs> it's big news. It's the, it's just those subtle things. Yeah. Or it, like even me doing, 
that like no no comply down a three stair. Yeah, that's a big I haven't done that off of anything bigger than like a foot. That's literally a big step for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a big two step. That's right. <laughs> Uh, but I agree. No, I showed Dawn, and she said the same thing. She's like, that looks like all the other tricks you do. <laughs> yeah, for if sure. I show if her you a, don't skate, you don't get it. No, I'll show her a boneless or a sweeper, and she'll think it's the same trick. Yeah, for sure. I showed. I asked Joe which one should I use, like uh-huh. which clip, and she she was like, I don't know what the di- – it was a shove, and a, it was the uh, skate at home challenge. Uh-huh. It was a shove or a kickflip, and she's like, I don't know the difference. Yeah, she's like, I don't know. Use the one where you're chasing the board I kicked fast. <laughs> uh, that is the one she wanted me to use. There you go. See, I know she's her. She's like, that's the funny one. It is a funny one, but you're not. Yeah. it's not a comedy contest. <laughs> no, and there was a lot of debate. I'm like, should I just put this up? Because I think uh, Chris Roberts would probably put something. Didn't he do – he didn't do like a standing still one. Didn't he do like a shoe one and then he put it on? Yeah, inst- he, instead of – yeah, he walked away just like he did the other <laughs> yeah, trick. Yeah, he put it on and yeah. – la- yeah, that's yeah, funny. That was pretty the funny. The funny thing is though like I would do that as a like as a bit with a shoe. But also I've tried for like years my slides, my Adidas slides to like kick flip them when I'm at like a mall or something. And oh, like really? flip it in the air and then catch it. Yeah, sure. So I would like actually want to do that. Right. I wouldn't want to do the bit because I actually st- I want to do that. <laughs> well, there, I mean it's, that would be your bit. It's you, so hard. You need a you need a shoe flip challenge is what that one is. Yeah. Hashtag shoe shoe flip challenge. Yeah, yeah. But dude, another good... I got another first though yesterday, which is pretty interesting because I I took that longboard with me when I went to go drop my car off at the yeah. mechanic up the street and it's like you know it's a half a mile away but i knew there's hills going either way it's like you know there's an uphill and the, the you know downhill throughout this whole entire area and i was like i don't know the sun was just right and i was like man i'm just gonna go for it i've never really taken that thing out on a hill i've only ridden it up in the barn yeah you know and it's an it's a su- super smooth board so I don't know. I, I just kind of went for it. And the very first road I went down is the clip that you saw. I had it with me, but I accidentally touched like the zoom and I didn't know it. And so like the footage of me going down the other big hill by the church by me, that footage is just like of my shirt really close. So it just looks stupid. Uh, yeah, I was wondering how <laughs> close to home you were and like if you were going to do that hill. Yeah. I know I, well, you always wanted to do that. And I did. And I think the hill that I filmed was faster than the big hill that I think is bigger. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, the footage that doesn't look good, I don't think that hill was as fast as the one that I filmed. So Yeah. But, yeah, it um, looked pretty mellow. You also looked cold. It was a it little was, chilly. It looked like you were bundled up. I was bundled a bit. There was two two hoodies on. It had hailed and snowed and rain, and it was, like, this weird patch of sun that came out, and, like, I could yeah. almost so see that my, was, So that was yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. I could almost see my breath, yeah. yeah. But um, it's like the first time I took that thing out on the street and just tried to hit a hill to see how comfortable I would be. Like, I didn't figure I'd get speed wobbles, but I don't know. I just never tried it. And I tell you, dude, I could have gone like more than twice as fast and been comfortable. I have my hand in my pocket and I'm just cruising. Yeah, you for know, sure. Those wheels with, that are... much, with that much service area and those wheels, yeah. you're chilling on hills. Dude, and the board is really low to the ground too. It's like at the level of the wheels. So you get really uh-huh. low center gravity. You're not going to get any wheel bite. And I'm already comfortable on it. And so, I don't know, dude, it was just so smooth. Like I'm, I'm really looking into like just going and hitting some of these hills around here. Hell yeah! And get some, and get some now, better, I get some better I don't footage. Bring up more bad news, but like, what is going on with this cold now? I know, I know. It's supposed to get like snow in the next day or two or something. It was fucking wet. It was like sixty the other day. <laughs> be thankful it's now. So hopefully, when we're all freed up and you can go outside, like it'll be warm. Yeah, and I might be. We might be furloughed in May. Oh, for real? Yeah, and you know, this is like what I'm thinking about now is like. Just because with work, like, we're going to be done so early right. that we're not going to have anything until June. But if I get furloughed in May and social distancing laws are restricted or taken off. Yeah. Road that, trip. That's Madison time. <laughs> Madison only. Right, get right let's back go, in the van. <laughs> let's go somewhere else, too. Like, that's, that's a road trip. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm down. Madison. Max hit me up today. So yeah. that's why I'm thinking Madison. He's like excited to skate. Yeah, like COVID nineteen will be gone, but skatosis remains. 
Skatos remains. I mean, COVID-19 will remain, but skatosis endures. Yeah, it will. I mean, I'm always trying to cure it, but it just never goes away. Well, there there is a cure. I know. There is one cure. But it doesn't, but then it comes right back. Yeah. It's the like, affliction uh, is the disease. It's like dry mouth and water, you know? Hand, go, they go hand in hand. Oh, that's a, or it's like a deodorant and sweat. There you go. See? Symbiosis. Look at that. Yeah. So this show is basically deodorant. <laughs> basically. It smells good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um... I had on my screen the the little little challenge that I did, but you know that was all right. I didn't I didn't want to make fun of you that bad, but you you went the wrong direction, you know. So yeah, it was. I I mean I blew that whole thing. I yeah. went the wrong direction and I didn't cut it. And you didn't add me to yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't edit it at all. Yeah. So we'll so I we'll, was totally so like, we'll, <laughs> I'm just gonna post this and be done. So we'll just skip right over the whole thing that you blew it. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, let's just go right over that. Right over We it. can talk about me at Merrill the other day getting busted again. <laughs> that was pretty funny, dude. Did you see that I clipped out the part where the cop came up and I put that actually in the, the like, on Instagram and not just the story? <laughs> yeah, it was that, yeah, me <laughs> hanging out with the cop. <laughs> and so I've got this friend of mine that um, I used to work with, and he used to be, like, an Apple guy, and he worked at the Genius Bar, and he moved back to San Francisco and stuff, but he's from this area. And uh, he's laughing, and he's like, dude, you got some really young friends because you put your birth year out there. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great, too. Yeah, all, I know. All my information was just, like, <laughs> out there now. Oh, like you don't say it already on the show how old you are and your full name. Oh, you, you say, here's my fucking address. <laughs> you know what? Here's my back of my credit card number. How about that? I wonder I'm if, not a, I wonder I'm if, not afraid to throw it down. I wonder if he turned around just on his own accord or did he actually get somebody saying it looked weird or did he just think it looked weird? I bet the way he was saying it, I bet he looked yeah. thought it looked weird. Yeah. Typically if somebody is called, that's the first thing they say. Yeah. Is somebody called this in? I've uh, been kicked out so many times. I know the you know the drill. Like, even when I came home, it's it's funny like how much you kind of turn into the other person in your relationship, right? Like Joe was like pissed right away, and she's like, "What? You aren't doing anything? What is he asking you questions for?" I know. I was thinking like I've seen all these videos where dudes are like, I know my rights. I don't have to say anything. I don't need my life. You know, I was like where they're just like fighting the cop the whole time. But you're just uh, you're just like, nope, here it is. Here's my name. Here's my number. Here's my my, uh, yeah. he, my astrological sign, my like, social security. I remember thinking that of mm-hmm. like and I asked it after, but I'm so used to getting kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Scooters are such criminals that it's just like name, address, d- date of birth. And I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Right. And he was, like, kind of – I don't know if you heard it in the video. He was, like, kind of, like – what's the right – like, just being, like, snarky about my last name. I did hear him, like, like – yeah, he was struggling to hear you spell your name. I thought that was weird. Yeah, because, again, I've done this so many times that I, I know the timing I already have is fine. Right. So when he's, like, can you spell that slowly? I'm, like, all right. <laughs> yeah. You're like T H A T S L O W K A T O S. I should have told I should have told him about the podcast. Yeah, you should have you should have said your name is Aaron Monty from the Skatosis podcast. Have you heard of uh, excuse me, do you know who I am? <laughs> that should just be like like um habit, you know. You should just say that every time you say your name. Aaron Monty of the Skate I was gonna say when I shake people's hands, but uh, that yeah, we don't, don't do that anymore. Yeah, you can't shake hands now. No, we don't do that anymore. No, we, when I, dude, uh, when you know I who I eye contact with someone, I'll say it. You know who from the, across the room. The big, the saddest thing in this entire coronavirus thing, I think, is is Beagle, and the Baker Squad. They can't. Do, oh, yeah. They can't do the boop boop boo. That's three times. You can't even do that. That's three times. <laughs> I think it's two. I think it's two times if you know me. It is, but there's a third hit. I'm saying yes, there's the three, it's hit. three contact. I mean, you can't even touch enough. That's what I'm saying. You I can't s- even be six feet from Beagle. Dude. So that's what I, yeah. So I feel the, I feel bad for Beagle. Jeez. It freaking sucks. Especially we since could, he's down with skatosis. We could send him a cameo. We, <laughs> uns- <laughs> an unsolicited cameo. It's called a, <laughs> it's called a scameo. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, here's our scameo. 
Uh, here it is. We feel bad for you. <laughs> well, we're saying it here. If anybody, yeah. uh, if he's actually listening, which you know, I, I'm suspect to that, but uh, he'll hear our hear hear our, our our heartfelt pleas to him that we're sad. Two times if you know me. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to be like, oh, it's it's got to be different. Three nods. Three. <laughs> you're just gonna have to do like like air high fives. Yeah. Well, hopefully one day it won't be such a big deal. Yeah. Maybe. It's just crazy now. There's gonna be paranoia for a long time. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. But so in these times, what do we do? We skate at home and we watch clips on the internet. That we do. Did we you... watch our favorite skaters who my favorite friend bought a board for me. Yeah, he buddy. He ran the board through that whole part. Yeah, buddy. Dude, so is is that the first Grimble Six part? It might be because it seems like he's the only one. I think he's the only one representing it. Well, he well all the like guest people too. Ray, Rainy Bears, yeah, he's in Grimble Sticks. Uh, freaking Frank Gerwer, Mason but, Silva. But that's the first part, though. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. He's the first one that's like officially saying like I'm the team. Yeah, dude. There. That... I think Frank. I think the first boards, though, were Frank Gerwer. I think they were, but the part-wise, I'm talking, like, that's badass. To come out with, like, a yeah. fresh board with a new part right alongside it, and that Skater XL character with the same board. Like, there's a there's a coordinated effort going on here with Evan. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. That Skater XL looks, and that, came, that trailer came out on Trans World, yeah. and it looks so sick. Yeah, it looks so good, and the thumbnail they picked is, like, such a perfect frame. You yeah. know, like how you can and that, how you can pick and choose. Looks so realistic. It looks so good. I love the full. Yeah. I love the full board graphic. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's. I'm so stoked to skate, and I like. I'm skating so much during quarantine, like twice a week now. Yeah. Which is is still not that crazy. Twice a week is crazy in Wisconsin. So now, like that weekend board is getting worked. Yeah, for real. I'm getting, crazy uh razor tail you're gonna have to get rails on that evan board just so you can save that artwork i can't do rails <laughs> do they make light rails oh uh, i don't know i don't know i, I wonder mean, they're not um, that they're not that I heavy if enjoys it or any lighter i'm just saying they're not that heavy i feel like they're so heavy i, don't I feel know. like they add unnecessary weight dude if i can kickflip this beast with rails on come on yeah, but I've, I mean, I've kicked flip that board too, but it's like not fun. But also it's not, <laughs> that board, it's not, the weight isn't the rails. No, no, it's just big. Yeah. It's just kick, it's kick flipping a freaking boat. Yeah, I'm not concerned. Like, you know, a lot of times everybody's trying to cut weight, cut weight, get it to the lightest thing. I went, ex, I went the opposite way with the 60 mil wheels. Like, I don't, I don't even, they might be extra solid trucks instead of the hollows. I don't know. Uh-huh. Well, I think it depends on what you want to do. Yeah. Well, I want to do it all. I want to do it. I want to do it all. Like Marty, I think would prefer like an eight eight one. Sure. Because those he says like are easier to flick. Yeah. But he said that when he was skating the campus banks, he said he was skating. I think he said an eight five. I don't know, man. There's something about this big feel, the big shape under my feet that I I really enjoy the way that it feels. That I just want to use it for everything. So I mean, if I can struggle and get my kickflips going and be able to do a flip trick with it, I mean, you watch Winkowski with his. I have a feeling that he's got a different shape, not a shape, but a different concave on the one he rides. The one in his videos are always so flat looking. And the board yeah. and the board that so maybe, you got me has maybe got it's just him working them though. No, no, no. Maybe like it's just the way he works boards. I don't think so. I'm saying it looks flat, whereas mine has got a, a huge pocket. It's like a canoe. Yeah. You know, it ripped the grip tape when I put it on because there was such a little pocket in the spot. So it's like I look at the shape of like again, not the shape, the concave of it. It looks different than the boards that I see him in his edits with his board. I think there's just yeah, the Winkowski's do look really. It's a really flat. mild, mild concave, if not flat. Like yeah, and so that even makes it even more un, unfathomable the stuff he does with that stuff. I mean, I saw him do a. It was either a yeah, kickflip tail that 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 ad for the one where you can color it in. I know we talked about it, but like the tricks yeah. he was doing at any time well, on that board. I don't is insane. get how he does nollie flips. 
Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. That makes no goddamn sense. Well, it's like how you do a regular kickflip. There's no pop. It's just it's like he's able to flick it. Yeah, but out of nolly, like nolly flips are already so hard. Yeah. To be able to get on a kickflip, you I don't even need a pop. That's what you I'm can, saying. Like, get it around yeah. a nolly flip. You need to get that thing around. I'm just saying that, like, of all people, you might understand it more than most because you don't necessarily need the pop on your flicks. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand nolly flips. What about the ho hos and the eggplants? Ho hos, sure, those I get. Yeah, those make a lot of sense. Another one of his that I really like is like the layback slide, like tail tail slide. You know where he, yeah. he grabs the nose and really pulls back. Uh, Carl does those at at Cream City a lot. Yeah, he does, for he does sure. them. Uh, back. But I'm in, shout out Carl. I miss Carl. Hell yeah, dude! I miss all those guys. You see him? Yeah, he's in those turf videos where they're uncovering the bowls, and you can see him walking around. Yeah, dude, and I'm seeing like the turf videos on like other big like skating accounts. It's a big deal, man. That's like a yeah. The turf is like huge. Crazy history. The um, Tony Hawk Foundation posted a whole tribute to Jeff Grosso and the turf because it's like one death and one resurrection, and then there's yeah. footage of Jeff Grosso like shredding that place. He was ripping that place. Yeah. So, dude. Okay. So I saw you sent me that picture. Jim Thibos or Thibos, his account holding the next Thrasher magazine. Yeah. Dude, it's a little sad, but it's like Jeff Grosso on the cover. Yeah, first one. After, I mean, but, it's it's it's, it, yeah, it's bittersweet. It's, it's it bittersweet. Be, but it's also rad. Did you notice he had pads on too? Oh like, yeah. Of but all. The- also, how old is he in that photo? <laughs> Like under eighteen? Yeah, that's pretty young. But I'm just saying, of all of all the photos of him doing a killer invert, you might you might think with their with their history that they might find one of him doing one with no pads. Yeah, for sure. But it is an awesome photo. I'm not knocking it at all. I think it's yeah. awesome. I just think it's sad that he himself doesn't get to enjoy it. I w- yeah for for sure. And I, I wouldn't have been surprised either if they did, like, the one where he's flipping off the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in his later years. Yeah. Have you followed the yeah. account at all? Like, his son is, like, yeah. has taken it yeah, over. Yeah, all, like, that's what I'm saying. I told Joe, too. I'm like, yeah, this is happening now. Like, his son kind of just took it over. It's pretty, it's, like, all, like, his son's footage. It's pretty awesome, you know? Yeah. They, they call him Goo. That's what, that's what Jeff was calling him. Oh, really? Yeah. That'll be rad now to see him, like, like if he sticks with it, like him growing up and being like, look, like look at Goo. He's got some tricks, you know. He's working on yeah. it. He pushes Mongo. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe one, maybe he'll bring I think that the back. Clip I saw he was like going off, like he was doing a gap. Uh-huh. So he kind of like jumped on and didn't really push. Oh no, I've definitely seen him push Mongo, and I know there's yeah. there's you know been talk about it, but it's like who cares. Yeah, but I mean the only one that cares. The only one that cares is Rick at No, no Mongo podcast. He's pretty. Yeah, sad. that's true. <laughs> He's not down for that. Speaking of kids and skating, dude, do you see that thing I posted with that girl Sky and doing those doubles with Tony Hawk? Yes. Oh my and gosh, she dude. was terrified to go over. I believe it, man. I would be too. Like I don't know. She's just like pure, like such good energy. That little kid. She's so good. Yeah. And, and the, just down, like. All these kids coming up, yeah, it's just like everything is so pure and genuine. Wait, say that again. What happened to your phone just now? What I was saying though about Sky is like not even that crazy footage of her, but even the photos, man, that came out of it are just intense. Like, I don't know, man, that's such an awesome experience. I can't even imagine. Yeah, but what I, I guess what I was saying is like it's so sick that she like. We're all just in it because it's fun, and we want to keep doing it. Right. It's just like such, like, her as a little kid, like, the Olympics are a thing now, but she's still just like such a skate rat. I want to just, like, I want to skate on the ramp with Tony Hawk. Total skate rat. You see that there's a footage. She had a part that came out where she broke her arm, and then she finishes the whole thing with the, with the cast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's fucking sick. Yeah, she's hardcore. Yeah. All right. So the main topic of the day, since we're getting to that point, I mean, I don't know if you saw it yet, but Clive Dixon doing that part that he called creep. Yes, dude. Oh, yes, I did. Everybody's going to be talking about this part for for a while. Holy 
And so, yeah, so I'm kind of glad we're talking about it today on the first day, and I'll get it out tonight, so that way all the other people talking about it are going to say the same things that we're about to say. (laughs) Yeah, for real. Oh, my gosh, man. Although, I would say Gary... Gary calls shit on Skateline, calls shit out that I'm thinking and never say. Oh, yeah. He's so good on shit. Like, uh, the Chris Jocelyn switch switch frontside flip, we didn't need six angles. <laughs> that was a good He's call. Fucking, I remember thinking that, and I'm like, I don't need to say that. And then he said it, and I'm like, you're fucking right. I didn't need six angles of that switch front. You need the, you need the first one, and then you need the second one to back it up. I wonder the second some, one tells you how big that shit is. I wonder sometimes if Gary writes all of his own stuff or if somebody helps him out. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's it seems like it's coming from him, but I would I wouldn't be surprised at this point if he has like a team. I mean it's he's definitely reading it. You know, I would think. Yeah. But is he producing this all on his own? He might it might be a completely solo act. I know he's just in front of a green screen, but if yeah. he's if he's got Yeah, a, I don't know who's behind the scenes there. Yeah. I w- I'm just curious. I'd like to get a little behind the scenes besides just his uh, responses. But, uh, yeah, he's he's got some good wit, and he's quick, and he says some funny stuff. And, man, sometimes he's so on the money with what he says. Yeah, on point. <laughs> yeah. So shout out Gary Rogers. Hell yeah. Shout out Gary. Yeah, dude, this Clive part, I mean, we got everything. Gosh. We this got guy. a gap uh, back lip or front lip over water. Yeah. He we can, got the nose blunt down the, Staples Center. The Staples Center with the, with the statue of Jeff Rowley in the back. Dude. Dude, that's so How intense. thick is that? Yeah, but you know what? That's not even the ender. Like the one that they they gave us almost too many angles on after that one during the credits is bonkers too. The rail to chain to rail. Yes, dude. And I it's funny because I remember I thought Staples Center was the ender. I mean, it kind of it, was, but they kept. It kind of went to black. But then I remember thinking, we saw that photo in Thrasher last month. So I remember thinking, like, where's that trick? Of which one? The chain? Yeah, the chain uh, board uh, slide. Uh, I thought, I mean, I was thinking that the uh, Staples Center would be the end because everybody was waiting to yeah. see how that one came out. So I, remember, I just remember seeing it in Thrasher last month, yeah. that photo. And like, oh, there's got there's a part coming out with this with this board slide. Uh, you know, I just realized is I have that issue, and I have not fully gone through the whole thing yet. I remember thumbing through it, and I got about halfway, and something happened, and I I've been cleaning my office, and I haven't gone back to it. So I don't, I didn't oh, even, really? I didn't see that photo. You never saw that photo. Yeah, I never saw the photo. Wow. I thought yeah, you. Were, so I would thought kinda, yeah. Like through the park today, I was kind of waiting for it, and then it went. It was Staples Center. So I kind of like the roll up. I'm kind of like, oh, this is this is gonna. How did he bounce off of the chain to get up on the last rail? Yeah, that was intense. I mean, the ch- the chain is tight at that point, so I'm sure. I mean, it's like a kink, I guess. But I have to watch. Like it again. any give to it, you're gonna pop up. Yeah, it wasn't in the last issue, was it? It was in the one before it, or what? No, I think it was the last issue because I think I think I. When was the last time I saw you? My birthday. Uh, four four years ago. Oh yeah, that's right. yeah. My birthday four years you ago. You were you turned twenty one, I think, when we when I last saw. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you for saying that was four years ago. <laughs> uh, that so I think I flipped through it on when we went to Cream City. Oh, so I've got a new one since then. Really? Wait. So the Grasso one is even next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the next one. So he, oh, Jim Th- thevo has got an early one. Who's early. on the cover of this one? The one that I have in my hand is, um, what do you call it, uh, Milton Martinez doing a back smith down this crazy big hubba. Up in, oh, oh, up in the smokes. Sodi- oh, I didn't yeah. see that one. Yeah, it's the Sodi issue, and it's got, yeah, a, so it's got a Mark Johnson on it. The one before the one you just got. Right, right, right. It, this one has a Mark yeah. Johnson interview and Tyshawn Jones passing the torch. I wonder if Mark Johnson talks about Carter. I wonder. Oh yeah, I Dude, wonder what's going on with that. The Carter, the, him, the he, Carter I, show. I've been seeing he's been the roadie with Joey. Dude, that's awesome to watch. Like he's so he dominates all of those clips because he's so good. But yeah, and he can do anything. Yeah, on demand. He's like down to do anything. Just give me a front blunt real quick on this thing, or a back blunt. Yeah, or that drop in into the rock. Yeah. 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 That's so cool. Yeah, to... he can do it all. Yeah, those are fun to watch. 
what is, what is that one called? Um, skate park review. Skate, yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, I love those. I, I mean, I love Joey. Who is that guy in the who's rips besides our rips? Who's that rips? Dude, it's it's one hundred percent Bob. You think? Yeah. I yes, get- his board. Look at his boards and look at his shoes. That is what Bev Up wears. All right, I gotta I gotta watch it again, thinking of that because I didn't really even I, I I wasn't trying to picture who it was yet until just now. I'm like, who is that? Dude, and Bev Up and Carter were on that trip together. Yeah, I, I know. I mean, it would make sense that it's Bev Up. It's definitely not Dude, Ace. I've called that it's Bev Up episode yeah. one. Did you really check the tape that episode that we did? I was like, Bev Up is. Rip. That's gotta be hot. And I remember that, seeing that, that, and then I remember like a few months later, like rip, um, bev up, or like somebody said something and was like, "Oh, that's not me. You're fucking lying." When did they film these? Because like, I don't think you can go and do that right now. No, they're clo- no, they're closed. I I have no idea. Probably, I would say probably in March or February. Dude, I saw the best thing online ever. It might, it might. It might be my most favorite thing on the internet I've ever seen. And okay. It's a post in the Denver Craigslist, and it shows a skate park where the city had dumped mulch in it. Oh, God. And the ad was for free mulch. Come and pick it up. <laughs> oh, that's freaking good. Dude, that's so good. I I don't know why. Why is this happening? Just to... Like keep people away. Yeah, because people aren't listening, and they're going. To, they're going and skating. I saw that there was a basketball hoop. Some they like the town and put like two by fours through it, so you can't play. It's like people just aren't listening. They think they're immune, or they think they're invincible. Yeah, there is like like playgrounds out here has like caution tape all over it. Yeah, because just people aren't. If people just man, just stay, just stay calm and stay in your home just for a little while. Yeah, kill this thing off, then we can all go play. I don't like. It fucking pisses me off when people think it's cool to be, like, defiant in this moment and, like, go out and do shit. Yeah. It's You're, just, it's selfish. Let like, me it, skate with my friend. <laughs> it's a selfish attitude. You might not be, you know, you might not be showing it, but, man, you could easily pass it. Yeah, you could be asymptomatic. And what what gets me, too, is, like, the six-foot thing. That That's, like, in a room with no wind. It's, like, it doesn't accommodate the wind. Or account yeah. for it, so it's yeah. like, like it's it's cool. Dawn's making math. I don't know if she. We talked about that off air. Yeah, but that that's rad because like I think we're definitely gonna move into a point where we need that. Well, we're at that point like, right now. You're supposed to be wearing one if you go outside right now. Right. Like if you're right. around people. That's like what they're recommending. Yeah. And like they like just did a study that showed sneezes travel twenty seven feet. Oh yeah, dude, it's gross. So like, it's it's just so just stay in your fucking home. <laughs> just so think. I can skate with my best friend. <laughs> Aw, that's all I care that's about. That's all. Just think about like how often like or like how far away if you smelled somebody with a cigarette or a vape or whatever smoking some weed like you smell it from a distance. For sure. So I mean you know depending on the wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm just you know I. Like I said, this this whole entire you know time, I haven't really felt any kind of real difference except not skating with you, just because we just live this way. So I'm just yeah. you know, and you have. I just feel for all the people that are near people. A spoiled boy. I am a spoiled and boy. And have a ramp in your barn. <laughs> so get this though: not only do I have the ramp in the barn, I've got the slab mm-hmm. behind it with the cement quarter pipe, right? But now. I've just unlocked all these hills around me <laughs> with the longboard. I just unlocked. <laughs> oh, yeah. You also have Skate 3. And I've got Skate 3. Yeah. yeah. See, I've got so lots of set. options. Yeah. Are you gonna? Are you thinking about building something? Something new? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's got to be with stuff that I have here. I'm not like, I'm not yeah. down to like go make a maybe big old trip to the maybe store. Maybe it's time... Do you have any cement that you can mix? No, not yet. I was thinking, though, of, like, I was trying to see if I could get Menards to, like, deliver a bunch, but it looks like that's something they don't deliver, which is weird. But Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I was going to say maybe it's time to, like, cement that kicker. Um. Yeah, or just make a new one, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And it's not like... I have, I found yesterday, because, like, like, once a month, we, like... They take they the garbage like picks up your bags of leaves. Yeah. 
So we did that yesterday, and I, like, picking up the bags behind the garage, there's so much wood. So, like, I could just make, like, a shitty bank in the backyard. Do it. Do Do it. it. I I think that might – now I heard it's going to be, like, 35 next week. Yeah, I mean it's gonna start getting nice, but it's uh it's it's yeah. pretty awesome to see how many people are doing just that as like all these little home builds, all these little quarter pipes, mini ramps everywhere. But yeah, uh, yeah, I was you know, I was just thinking there's you know, so much there's so many things I could be doing out in the in the yard. I never get bored around here, so that's why it's like I'm not sitting around thinking of things to do. It's like there's always something to do around here. Uh, yeah, for sure. But and if I wasn't at look, I have no problem being at work right now. Yeah. Or for that matter, ever, I guess. <laughs> I have no problem chilling at Joe's Joe's gonna be home for another three weeks. It should be no problem. Right. Dude. Do it. Just stay just stay home. Oh I just thought you start staying home. No, I thought you meant build that little janky ramp. Oh. Dude, once it starts getting nicer, I, I think I might have but also like I I can travel to like a street spot. You know, I, mean? I always have that option, so it's almost like that's going to be easier. Sure. Yeah, you like you have the ramp and like all that, but also you can kind of get creative and be like, I can build something out here too. Oh yeah, I've definitely thought of a few different things. Like I was thinking of building that little uh, that rail, like the one that we saw in that turf video. Or, yeah, uh, I was thinking. Yeah, of, you sent me a clip of somebody skating a similar one. Yep, yep. I was thinking yeah, too that was of like, so um, fun. you know, you know, the spot on the barn and the on the slab in the back, like, um, kind of where we start our runs. There's that the 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 fence is kind of open as you you could actually go inside the barn through the backside right there. That you know that little drop off. Yeah. I was thinking of um, that whole entire ledge right there, man. I could make it into a little quarter pipe. I mean, I could make like a thirty foot wide little quarter pipe. <laughs> You know, like a just little, that little, like where it drops off. Yeah, like uh, from where it starts, then go all the way back. You know, towards like where the bus, the school bus is, and like there's that whole ledge that I was thinking it would be fun to just make like a either like part slappy, part transition, part bank with like little channels to gap over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be sick. That would be fun. I love. I just like. I'm really excited. I just want to skate a curb. <laughs> right. Well. So it, I, and I think I'm kind of sick of, because, like, right now I'm just going, like, really close by. So it's just, like, that school with stairs. And I'm kind of sick of jumping downstairs now. Well, you got to start do, going up only. You make you got to do, <laughs> like, how you do a leg day and then a chest day and an arm day. You got to do a uh-huh. up day, a down that'd day. Be a, that'd be a heavy leg day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one day Even where you're. Even those squats to get low. Yeah, one day where you're just going to you're st- you're skating the stairs themselves, you know, like just doing oh. back tails and you're just doing firecrackers and stuff. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. You just got to stair day. Yeah, just, every day is stair day. It's just how you skate them. Yeah, think of it like the gym. You know, write down a you plan. Know, look, I already <laughs> I already gave up in the gym, so let's not think about it as a gym. Well, it's not like you can go. We had to put our uh, yeah. We, we and put our, also, I wasn't going while I while I could. Yeah, I kind of do miss that, man. That'll be weird to go back to. It's such a weird, yeah. sweaty place. Well, you were place. getting heavy into it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well. All right, well, I'll skate up on I'll skate down on All right. So Martin hit me up, and he was he posted a picture on his story of a spot in Oshkosh that he's going to clean up. Yeah. But it's kind of like a out ledge and then a little gap next to it. So you kind of hit that and then gap over. Yeah. So that'd be kind of cool, but he like he went all out the other day and like um, rub bricked it. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. It's, there's a certain yeah. It's like you rub you you smooth it out. Yeah, he like smooth it out and wax it up. So that's probably like set to go. Nice. Are you guys gonna try so to like, you gonna try to meet up? And was supposed to be like fifties ish. Yeah. So I might I might hit that tomorrow, or I might hit up Appleton and bomb some hills. Are you gonna to try to meet up and actually skate like with him, or just just the the same spot? Oh no, just the spot. Yeah, yeah. Good. I was no, te- I was t- I was even, I was testing like, you. Even before the park closed, like a couple days before the park closed, Parker hit everybody up to like go skate, and I was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. And then like 
two days later, the park was closed. That's all you. It's your fault. <laughs> no, if anyone, it's Parker. <laughs> Yeah, I was just I was just uh I was just testing you to see if you're going to skate with Marty. No, no, yeah, probably not. Which like here's another shout out. Um he oh man. He skates with Dale Decker a lot. You like you've seen a bunch of his clips cuz he like a bunch of his stuff like pops up. You're giving a he, shout out to a guy you don't know his name? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> but I want to give a shout out because the unknown he skater. Got, coronavirus oh are you serious yeah do i think it's duncan dunes i'll look it up and send it to you what the hell but he got coronavirus and he did a story where he said like don't like i've been quarantining with dale and like don't think you can go to the park because if you touch like a ledge or like a rail or something you don't know who's, like, been there. I know. That's always been the biggest thing. It's like, you know, you might think that the person you're hanging out with is, you know, has been smart, but you don't actually know what they've been doing or how. Yeah, there's, no, yeah, there's no way of knowing. And, like, it lives on metal for, like, a while. Right, right, right. So if you, like, touch – and, like, that just got me thinking because he got it, and that got me thinking, like, all this shit it, when I'm going like street skating, like all the shit, like if I fall or something. Did you see that um, that skate park review with um, oh shoot, what's his name on Creature? Uh, David Gravett. Yeah, David Gravett. Did you see that one, the most recent one, where he's out there? Yeah, sp- where he's using hand li- sanitizer. Yeah, he's in Lysol, spraying all the ledges with Lysol. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he did. He did a power slide in that, yes. like a blunt power slide. Yes, and it looked so slippery. Yeah, I did. I did. He's got some fun but, little combos, but he always yeah, he he's gets so pissed. <laughs> that part, yeah, he gets so. Is that every session he gets? Every pissed. session, like he's just that's just him. That looks like a shitty part. But I thought that was pretty funny for him to be like spraying it all down with Lysol, like slicking it up. Yeah, for sure. Would you? Want to try the skate park reviews with Joey? Would you want to try that part? I mean, I would try it. That little thing looked like it looked kind of fun, at least at you know, from my level. That that the bank of stairs. I remember seeing that and being like, Drew would probably love that. Yeah, totally. That all that stuff did kind of look fun to me. The the weird like pit of stair round stairs was really weird. That was really weird because what do you ollie? into it and then just be done I, I don't know what they were thinking when they it's like it's like a, a flat ground contest and everybody's sitting around watching you <laughs> that's so wild or you like ollie in and then ollie out yeah that was weird but, but it's, so, it's so big but no that bank slash you know quarter pipe thing that that looked fun to me yeah and that's like kenny hole's part and i he hasn't been on the scene for a minute but i remember him in the expedition one video uh-huh and he was like my favorite song, favorite part in that video. Oh, that's what I was gonna say about Clive Dixon, man. What a trip to hear a skate part to that song from Radiohead. That yeah. that in a way is like, you know, I don't. It's not like it ruined the song, but it didn't necessarily like. I don't know. I'm 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 a little torn because I did enjoy it, watching that part with it. It's just there's a certain thing that skating can do when you watch a part with a song that you love. And it's like, oh man, am I gonna now only remember the song to this part? Like, like yeah. I always think of the. Uh... I remember using this song in one of my Instagram videos. Yeah. And it still to this day has the lowest amount of likes. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Ha- I think it was it was a night at the barn, and it was the one where I landed the fifty kickflip out. Yeah. And I remember being so stoked on it and the edit, and then it has like sixty likes. So and you, I'm like, you're just doing well, it for the, the likes. That's all. What's that? You're just doing it for the likes. You... Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I saying, remember, like, but like when it, I don't know when it came on to me, uh, on to me <laughs> when it came on today, and it was that song. I was kind of and like at the end when it was uh, like slow and like I don't belong here. Yeah. I was like, I was like goosebumps. Yeah, I mean, it's a really good song. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like it's got its own emotion attached to it. But now it's like it's 
you know, because I want to watch the part again, but is it going to like embed that part now into this song for me now? It's a little, it's a, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it. Like, yeah, you might be thinking about that nose blunt the next time it comes on. Well, yeah, and the way that they edited it, the way that the guitar mm-hmm. comes in, it's all crunchy, chonk, you know, and then it's like it's got a nice cut. Some of the sounds of the grind sound like that guitar crunch, so there's a weird little yeah. mix in it. It was edited very well. It was, it and was. And I would say Clyde Dixon, one of the only dudes that can have like three parts, like two Birdhouse and then this one. And yeah. all the songs he uses are slow because all of his footage can be slow mode. I know. It's an interesting vibe that you get from him. It's like he He's is super, so gnarly. So that it gnarly. Can all be slow mode. Yeah. I don't know. And it, I didn't, do you remember who he did in the Birdhouse video? Yeah, that was Patty Smith. Patty Smith. And that was great, too. Yeah, that one I didn't like as much because, I don't know, it was a little too slow for me. And I yeah. wasn't familiar with the song. But now this one I'm torn with. Because I'm so familiar with the song. Don't you don't know. see it a lot, though. These are very slow songs to skate I, to. I know, but they, they somehow they work well with him. Yeah. But yeah, what a what a fucking beast. Yeah, I gotta I gotta watch that again. I feel like I yeah. say that to everything, and then I, I haven't watched. I you know what I mean? Like go back and watch it. Part like five times. Did you really see? I only saw yeah. that. I only saw that the one time. I, this is what I will say about that Evan Smith part. The beginning, where it's like him like tripping out or whatever. Yeah, pre skating. It was a lot of like, it was like a minute and a half of beginning. Yeah, there was a lot of non skate stuff in there. Yeah, but he makes up with it once he starts rolling around. It's on. Oh, for sure. Once Evan's footage starts going, it doesn't end. Dude, that crazy weird bank in that drainage ditch that's so steep, and it's just like um, it's like a knob to slow the water down once it's pouring. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think, I think so. The I mean, one that's really steep and, like, there's a bank built into it. Yeah, it's like a megalith, but, I mean, it's just made to slow water down. It creates rapids, you know. It's like it's – once that thing's full of water, that thing is just made to disrupt the water. But, like, sure. he gets and I up – Car- I think Carter skated that thing, too. Yeah, he has. I mean, a lot of people have done tricks on those things, but the stuff he was yeah. doing – what did he do, the nose blunt to <clears> – <throat> excuse me, nose blunt um, back 180 out or something like that? Nose blunt front, or, nolly flip out. Was he didn't he did two different variations of a front blunt on that thing. It was crazy. I think the I think the other one was um not a ching ching, but like Oh no, no. He went it went back he, 180 nose grind to back 180. Yeah, it's something. He just kept spinning and I think he landed on the truck and not the blunt. I don't know. I got Yeah, look. he landed one was um one was the first trick was up to nose blunt nolly flip out. Yeah. And then, yeah, the other one was like a, man, I don't know, like a back 180 to switch nose. Isn't it a 270? Doesn't he go around 270 and then continue like another 180 in or I something like he that? Goes, he goes 180 the hard way. Yeah. He goes like over it and then he goes another and then he goes like 270 out of that. Something. I mean, it's gnarly. And then he does another like kickflip wall ride. Yeah, dude, kickflip wall ride and the kickflip wall ride. On that roof, yeah. and then he back 180s. Yes. Dude, that spot looks sick. It's yeah. got a stair set and a really low roof. Like, that looks like a spot I would be down for. Yeah, man, that's some good stuff going on. So, that's man, that's so good. I'm glad. Anytime I can see Evan, I'm down. Yeah, for real. And, um, I don't know, let's wrap this up with... Um, Shout out to uh, Ben Rayborn. Where you at, buddy? A lot of people posting clips about you, like uh, Mick Twist you did in the ditch. Did you see that? Peter Hewitt, yeah. he he took that. It's kind of old footage, but uh, you know, I don't know. He's apparently well, he's apparently event. MIA in Portland. People, I guess, are saying like the drug scene swallowed him up. So I hope it's not true. I hope he gets out of whatever he's in because I miss his skateboarding. Yeah, for real. And we met him at Cream and a dope dude. Yeah, so that's my shout out for the day. Is uh, Ben Ray- right. Met Ben Rayborn? Miss you, buddy. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I guess that's about it. I don't know. Unless you got nothing else, I went. I actually wrote notes to you know some topics, and there was like seven of them, and we hit them all. Yeah, well, yeah. I I think we hit them all. Yeah. Look it's, at, look again, at us. it's still it's it's 
it's weird doing it over phone. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever get used to it. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah. Um, what do we got? Another, like, couple weeks? Yeah, at least, you know. Yeah. I'll do, um, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to help out. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, stay home, stay safe. Love you, dog. Yeah, man. Love you too. And I'm looking forward to skating with you, uh, as soon as possible. You know, it's kind of cold anyways. We'd, uh, we'd be, you'd be complaining about being in the barn anyways. So let's just, oh, 100. So, <laughs> so silver lining, you'd probably want to stay home anyways. <laughs> silver lining, I'd be complaining. <laughs> I'd be complaining no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, man. Miss you. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Sounds good, dog. All right. Peace. Bye. Skate till death!